James, uh, one of the questions from one of our uh, viewers here wondered if um, recording in Abbey Road using British musicians for such an Americana kind of score was a concern at all for you. Never. I mean, <clears throat> listen, that the, they are among the, as are the musicians here, among the greatest musicians in the world. And if it's on the page correctly, they're, they're going to play what's on the page. And they will also, because of their level of sophistication and brilliance, they're able to imbue the music. They're, they're able to understand the intent of the music. Um, it may require a couple of directions here and there about uh, dynamics or phrasing, but you know, it's, it's like saying, well, British orchestra would have trouble playing Russian music. They don't, or French music. No, this is, this is just music is music. And I, I think that it's up to, at that point, it is up to me to make sure that I'm getting out of the live musicians the same kind of satisfaction that we were gaining and then some from the intentionality of the demos. And because I think what, what can happen is demos can be made to, to a certain extent to express the score, but then the recording sounds completely different. And I don't think that's, and I'm not talking about sonic quality and, and the irreplaceable depth you get from an orchestra. I just mean the overall feeling. So I, 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 I had to make sure, and I think from the beginning, Paul, you would agree that as good as demos might be, it was such a relief to hear the real thing. Um, so I had no concern. About the difference it. between a human voice and a yeah and a speaking clock, you know, it's just it's it's the one is is an expression of individuality and humanity, and the other is a a sketch or a drawing, isn't it, really? 